on the count of three. Everybody run back to your fantasy. Now. What up, everybody? It's your girl, Drea O. And as you know, I'm everywhere you go. And right now, I have my Chicago homegirls in the building. WWA. What's up, girl? What's up? What's up? Yeah. What it do? I love this. I love this because, like, I know all you guys from Chicago. We're all from Chicago. I'm from Chicago. But now we're here in New York. So basically, talk to me a little bit about your project, how this whole thing came about, and the movement. Because you guys are all independently famous on your own. And now you guys are coming together as a collective. How did this happen? Um, I just feel like we all got excited about the movie. And, you know, Chella hit us up with the idea because Chella is always coming up with something. Always got something up her sleeve. So she hit us with the idea and we all just kind of went from there. We all put our heads together, came up with different concepts for songs, came up with different hooks, came up with, you know what I'm saying, pick di different beats and all like that together. It was all a group thing. We all had our own input and we all came out with something amazing. Definitely. So how has it been coming together since you guys are all independent solo artists? Has it been hard working together as a group? No, it ain't really been hard. Um, outside of the music, we all got some type of relationship with each other. So we all already, you know, know what's, you know what to expect, like with each other or whatever. But it's been fun. Like it's been fun, you know. Um, nothing in life is perfect, so but it's been fun and it's been easy and to me it's been real fun working with each other. Yeah, definitely. And plus it's it haven't been hard because it's business. We coming down to get it done. We already knew what we were signing up to do and we knew, you know what I'm saying, what had to be done, mm -hmm. when it had to be done and we knew, you know what I'm saying, get down straight to it. So it hasn't been any issues or anything like that because if it's an issue, that would mean it's something personal. You know what I'm saying? And we knew we was coming to get the work done. So I know how girls are, and I know a collective of girls. Just me and my girl, like, take forever in the bathroom together. So who's who's late? Who's always the late one? I know somebody <laughs> always makes somebody late. Who is, who would be the late one? That me. Would take <laughs> Katie. <laughs> and who, okay, so who's the one with the most... I guess I would say hoes or groupies. Who's the one that the guys like the most? Because I know you guys are all beautiful <laughs> ladies. It ain't it ain't nobody who somebody like the most. I mean, people get. I mean, everybody got people who like them. So it ain't no this person like this like you more. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we all got our own groupies Style. or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, definitely. So the first single that you guys dropped together as WWA was straight out of Chicago. How do you think the fans? felt about that single and how receptive were they shit we didn't get um <clears throat> we didn't get a lot of love like so many people supporting the movement um they they happy surprised we we got hate too like i done seen a bunch of people hating i think somebody even started like a little facebook uh page hating but you know Isn't like it ain't how people yeah. take the energy to be mm -hmm. negative right like, they wow. so negative but but it's you like know, it's, it's over a hundred thousand views on this so yeah like, like <laughs> right you want the end of like the thanks you're still promoting us You're so thank you right yeah we appreciate but it but y'all yeah. actually let me just come in on that actually if y'all notice that the hate didn't start it was a chicago versus chirac people that actually show love mm. the hate came under there so strong so it wasn't yeah. the blog that was created right. and it actually got three hundred and ten thousand views <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah so it's all a uh, shout out to them for that free promo yeah, that was yeah dope. definitely speaking of haters your no reason video i love it and i like it because it's kind of unique basically you guys are kind of taking shots at the internet trolls and people that are talking shit a lot mm -hmm. what have you felt about you know people saying things like do you guys read the comments yeah but we laugh sometimes mm -hmm. we laugh at it though it's like even if we respond i know some people be like oh you responded because you was mad no we be sitting there literally laughing, laughing. like we'll be right next to each other like look what this goofy right. just said like and we'll say something funny back and be just laughing and joking about it like we don't take any of that serious like none of us really care. like i think people gonna talk with god mm -hmm. i think it depends sometimes i get in my moods where it could irritate me sometimes personally mm -hmm. or it bother me not even just with me but it bothered me like if I see one of them somebody talking about another one of them I feel like I have to it, I, I do get petty you know I'm human <laughs> and I'm still in it so I do want to jump on like if I see somebody hating on one of the other girls I might go in or if they say something more personal you know and right. I feel like I have to check them I might mm -hmm. pull one out of a hundred and just go in and just yeah. treat them real quick mm -hmm. sometimes right. and not too much though so yeah. 
Do you feel like Chicago's a hater city? Coming from the city, living there your whole life, overall, and with this new project, do you feel like Chicago is a hater city? Like, they hate? I don't feel like, um, I feel like, I don't feel that they hate. I feel like they don't support. Mm. It's a big difference um, to me, and people don't understand that. Like, I know some people, like, like my family, some of my family don't support. You know, like, don't share my music, don't come to none of my shows. How does that Wait, I'm going to take that back, though, because they do be hating low-key. Like, you know, mm-hmm. they be throwing shade, but they don't talk nothing. They don't talk down on me because they can't, you mm-hmm. know. But it's they don't support a lot in Chicago. I, I think it's more so like jealousy, in my opinion. Like, if somebody else sees somebody getting on a little bit faster than them, you know what I'm saying, they might start hating, start posting less. But it's like, that's your own personal issues. You, you know what I'm saying? I feel like people was born haters if you were a hater. Like, your mama was probably a hater, and your daddy was probably a hater. <laughs> and, was like, and your granny was hating, too. It's in your blood. <laughs> <laughs> True. So, are you planning on um, going on tour, doing concerts? Like, what's the what's the demo for the whole project? Yeah, we yeah. we got a lot of stuff coming up. We doing one big show, so be on the lookout for Where that announcement. Where is that happening at? It's it, be on the lookout. I'll okay. make sure you get okay. you know your media pass. <laughs> okay, and then we putting some other things together. You know, as far as with the project, so just be on the lookout. Okay. It's a surprise. <laughs> So how do you feel about, you know, women in music right now? Like Nikki's probably one of the headliners as a female rapper, but there's plenty of room for more. Um, Do you guys see yourself having to be sexy or do you think that, you know, like a lot of times they try to push female rappers to, to show a lot of skin and, you know, have big, bigger parts that stick out for more attention. Do you think that's necessary? No, I don't think it's necessary. Well, I've been my bad G. Me personally. I mean, I ain't, I mean, sex sells, but I didn't sell sex to get to where I'm at. I mean, I'm work like I, I got sex songs now, but I still like I didn't sell myself. You supposed to sell yourself as an artist, but you don't supposed to sell your pussy. Right. Well, you can, <laughs> but I didn't. Do that. <laughs> but you, I'm just saying, I, I, I still salute and respect any female, but it's just like. I'm different because I don't like I don't try to sound like other people when everybody got their own sound. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Mm-hmm. And me like I've been like I always been little like I always been skinny since I was a, a baby. Mm-hmm. And um I done did a lot of stuff in my music career like stuff that uh I done did a lot of stuff and I just got a butt. So <laughs> I mean <laughs> yesterday <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday, she just got That's the booty. Girl, yesterday. I can't wait to talk and about this. She just got the little booms yesterday. I swear. Wait, we gotta close this up before the rumors start. Is no, it, not a fake one. Okay, no. no. Uh-uh, we she just discovered she had some buns yesterday. Okay. Okay. Now she just got them. Like she just, they were like, Sasha Go Hard just bought a booty, y'all. Right. <laughs> Get off the plane, like, boop. Okay, where's the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> So you guys don't feel the pressure to to get, you know. I'm implanted. getting me an ass, but right. I don't need it. I already <laughs> got my buzz, but I'm getting the ass because I want it, not because they want me to get. Yeah. Is like, it gonna be Nikki, or is it gonna be like Apple? Is I don't it gonna compare be crazy? myself like to Nikki. I love her, I support her, but, but I'm, get gonna get the the I'm getting right. a Katie ass. Okay, I'm getting okay. a Katie ass. I'm about to say because if you get it that big, I, I don't. Walk I'm but her butt not, not compared to like K Michelle, like right. That's too much ass. No, that shit just went too crazy with that. That's why I said you can't go too crazy. No, I'm not getting a. I'm not. I'm getting a Katie. Booty, booty already think, my she gonna I'm get she thick. gonna get like two she shots in each cheek and then that's gonna and be then cool. You're gonna cool. Nah, I'm gonna get some fat. <laughs> oh, fat, <laughs> fat transfer. I feel like nah, I ain't got no fat, but I'm gonna give me an ass. Y'all gonna see me out here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna disappear and reinvent myself. <laughs> she gonna come back like the girls on Instagram, like just was at the gym doing right. some squats. Yeah. Like, girl, <laughs> squats, no <laughs> shot. Like you just Wait, left after my end. Right. Right. Like, <laughs> squats, no shot. Right. <laughs> I feel you though. I feel you. So what's next for everybody? Like individually, um, can you guys go down the line and talk about what you guys got going on and as a collective? What's what's the demo for the situation? Um, right now, um, I'm still pushing my Nutty Rail Two mixtape that dropped um uh, in February. And right now my focus as far as music is on the WWA project. Mm-hmm. Um just doing what I gotta do to um, you know, to to help the group and, and do what I gotta do to just my job and um 
I don't plan on. I haven't started working on a new my new solo project yet because I want to focus on this and I got other stuff I need to focus on like my baby birthday on the twentieth. So we finna throw her a party, <laughs> aka her birthday. Right, right. my birthday. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm focusing on WWA project right now. Uh, Foz Music. How about you, Katie? Well, I'm I'm working on a WWA project, and right along with that, I'm working on. Well, I'm I just wrapped up DC Three, the last of the Drill Queen, and I just dropped a single with GMI and Shai Hoover that I'm about to push right now. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to doing shows around that and with WWA as well. Be on the lookout for the project dropping in a couple weeks, straight out of Chicago. What's the name of your new single you pushing with GMI? Make me rich. <laughs> Make me rich is dope. She gave us some exclusive last night. Yeah, so. yeah. it's cracking. It's um, dope. Me, I'm working on my uh, mixtape Garja Grill Two: The Knockout, which is the part two to my very first mixtape Garja Grill. Um, I've been working on that in between. In the meantime, you know what I'm saying when I get some time off from the WWA stuff. But WWA, I think that's everybody's main focus right mm-hmm. now because it's like. Everybody just so excited about it. Like we see, you know what I'm saying, what everybody else see too, that this is something crazy and amazing. But besides that, yeah, my mixtape on the way though. Yeah, and with me, like I said, my main thing is the WWA project. Um, keeping it together, doing my part as the artist, all of that. And I'm still I still got songs that I'm pushing as well. You know, I got a single out called Fleek and Soldier Still, Boy, What's Soldier right? Boy? Featuring Soldier Boy, fine ass. Oh, <laughs> did that slip? Oh, 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 oh. That's my brother, though. Thank you, slip. My That's bad. gonna be the next rumor. That's oh. gonna be the next rumor. That's the brother, huh? <laughs> they so, always say bro. they brother. That's bro. Yeah. So <laughs> shout out to him, and we all just doing our thing. But right now, rock with that W up W A thing. You, know, you tongue twisting that. Thinking about Talking about your brother. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Straight out of Chicago. Next the EP you know, on the way. W W A. Very now we're about to wrap this up, but Lucy, let me ask you real quick. You was on Bad Girls Club, mm-hmm. right? Did they make you fight? No. No? So it was not scripted at all. No. I not always at all. wanted to ask that. Not scripted was at all. Was it a good experience? Would you would you do it again? Um, if they pay me like double what they pay me the first time. What were they paying? Again. I'm all in your pockets. Your I'm, 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 I'm about to say, I'm about to say, now you, now okay. you, okay. 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 She plead the fifth. I was like, nah, but nah, it was, it was okay though. It wasn't that bad. It just was kind of, Dealing with bitches. You know, yeah, it's like I don't have no phone, no TV, no nothing, so I gotta just deal with y'all hoes. Like, no, so I have no choice but to punch you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that's love that y'all ain't fighting each other like that in this group. Not I feel all. the love, and I, we I, got phones, we got right. whatever. You we get on each other nerves. We pop some headphones in, turn on some music. And whatever. actually, I think it's so planned out and put together it's really not a need yeah. for that like right. if any if it's any type of conflict then like like Lucy was saying that's just mm-hmm. and don't it's do just, it because that's what really, people want people yep. are waiting for you guys to, like mm-hmm. you know don't do it even if you do keep it in house you know yeah. so thank y'all we so do. much for sitting down with me um <laughs> <laughs> where can everybody follow you guys real quick just say your names and say where they can follow you I'm Chella H and you can follow me everywhere Except home <laughs> on Twitter, Instagram, C H E L L A, Chicago, one word. Damn, Shella, you sound sexy. I want to do mine in Chella voice. It's Luchi V. <laughs> 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 like, that's your girl, Luchi. Follow me, L U C C I V E E. That's Twitter and Instagram. Katie. Katie, you can follow me at getoutmydick.com. I'm just <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter, Katie Got Bands with a Z, Katie Got Bands 039 on Instagram. It's your girl Sasha Gohar. You can follow me on Instagram, Sasha Gohar, all together. And Twitter, Sasha underscore the rapper with a D A. Go hot. Yeah. Thank y'all so much, Estrella. Um, everywhere welcome. you go, and I'm signing out. Shout out to you, though. Your birthday coming up. Virgo's in there, yes, right? Yes, I'm a Virgo. Right, and man, Thursday. When is it? It's actually. Um, Happy birthday. What is your real birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Turn up, turn what up. What you doing? You ain't gonna pop, lock, and drop uh, it. Hey. This weekend. I know, right? Uh, pop, lock, and drop it. We gotta get Dre a birthday shout out. Shout out to Dre. Shout out to Dre. Shout out to Dre. Shout out to you, girl. We're good to get on my cell phone. We want to get drunk tonight. Right. We're gonna turn up for you. Thank you. Because we're gonna go have us a twerk off at somebody's club on top of the tag. 
table. <laughs> You're more than welcome to come. I'm Don't going. meet us there. Beat I'm us going. there. I'm going to be there. All right. <laughs> All right.